Hey what's up guys I'm back with another Assassin's Creed Origins video and today I'm going to show you how you can farm the Shards of Star. So I just recently finished the Curse of the Pharaohs and realized that the level cap has been increased from 45 to 55. With that we can now upgrade our gear even more. But in order to upgrade your gear you need an item called Shards of Star. So how are you going to get this Shards of Star? Well in game you can actually kill the undead pharaohs to actually get some Shards of Star or you can find the Shards of Star inside some bases which I don't think is a good way to farm it. So the only best way that we can actually look for is to kill the scorpions and collect the stars from them because you know if you kill the undead pharaohs you get three stars but they are really difficult to kill so it's not a best way. But if you kill the scorpions which are more easier to kill you get two stars for killing just one scorpion. So it kind of makes sense you know to go for them. So when I was playing the game I found a quest called the Kings of Kings which is the main quest and inside that there was another quest called the Pharaoh's Car, a Pharaoh's Car if I pronounced it right. So you have to look for the quest called Kings of Kings which you will find when you're playing the main game itself you will find this quest. As soon as you find this quest you keep doing this quest you will come across this quest called a Pharaoh's Car where you have to go and find an eye. Yes it tells you to find an eye. So once you're inside the map and you're looking for the eye, you will come across this cave. But instead of going inside the cave and collecting the objective, you will look out, you will find two scorpions actually standing beside it. So you can go kill them and collect two stars plus a scorpion, pinesers or whatever that stuff you get from him. So you get two stars from one scorpion. That means in total you get four stars from them. So as soon as you collect those stars, what you can do is you can reset the quest or reset the objective that way you will spawn again next to them and you can again kill them get two stars plus the scorpion stuff and then reset again and again so remember two scorpions you kill them you get four stars plus two scorpion pincers and one pine, uh, scorpion stuff is sold for like 70 each so you know you're getting some money for that as well but at the same time this quest i think it's fast because you know you spawn right next to them you can just simply kill them and reset the quest again and you get like four stars which is really important now now i thought okay this is kind of you know like not that fast because i'm only getting two scorpions maybe we'll find a location in the map somewhere where we can get more than two scorpions to spawn well i did find some places where i could find two or three scorpions spawning and it was in a base that you can see in the video at the moment this was the base, I went inside the base and I found these three scorpions uh, inside this base and I killed all three of them and I reset the quest and again they spawned. So that was a good thing but the problem was that I spawned 70 meters away from them. That means I have to go again inside the base towards them and it takes like 5 to 6 seconds which I don't think so. Uh, you guys will waste time you know, just walking up to the base again and again. As soon as you reset the quest, they spawn you outside the base, which I don't like at all. So, considering the fact that it takes some time to just go inside the base, I find the other farm method more easier where I could just reset the quest and they'll spawn right next to me. Remember not to complete the quest because I did complete the quest and they did stop spawning. So, I will not recommend you to complete the quest first. Make sure you farm as many stars as you can, upgrade your gear, and as soon as you're done upgrading your gear, you can just leave complete the quest and it's done you will never need shards of star later in the game because first of all you can't sell it and uh, you can't use it for any other item except for just upgrading your gear once it's maxed obviously you're not going to use it so it makes no sense i have no idea if we will ever need shards of star in future because it kind of makes the um the undead fares a little bit useless except for the fact they give you thousand xp so that's a different thing okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah!